the truth about Christianity. Now, if you don't want to know the truth and want to remain a Christian, I advise you leave this video. And if any Christians want to comment, make sure you comment on every point that I made in this video. Don't just cherry pick. Now, let's talk about Adam and Eve. The first thing I want to know is since when did woman come from man? How does Eve come from Adam's rib, but everybody else comes from a woman's womb? What a coincidence that the first man on this earth was named Adam, but the first Egyptian deity was named Atum. You want to know another coincidence? See how the full word of DNA has rib in there? And Eve allegedly came from Adam's rib? I just find it funny how the DNA structures resembles a rib. But y'all love to say I'm reaching, so I guess that's an actual coincidence, huh? You know what? I find this as a coincidence, too. How that symbolizes the womb, life, and this symbolizes somebody dying on the cross? I guess this is a coincidence, too. It's crazy how Virgo in Latin is virgin. The Virgo symbol is literally an M, and that's where you get Mary. You know another coincidence? That looks like Jesus fish. Everything in the Bible is allegorical. It's based on shit that happened way before Christianity and astrology. The Holy Bible translates to Helios, Biblios in Greek, and that literally means sun book. Before the Holy Bible, we had the book of Ra. Speaking of Ra, I want y'all to pay attention to that sun on top of his head. Now, Ra was the sun god of Egypt. Just look at how every painting of Jesus has a sun on the back of his head and not on the top like Ra, the sun god of Egypt. It took sun god and reversed it to the son of God. Jesus is just the sun. How do you think he refers to himself as the light of the world? What a coincidence that Jesus had 12 disciples and there's 12 zodiacs. You see why he's the son of God and you go to church on Sunday? That's where Jesus gets his crown of thorns from. But speaking of the sun, I love to say God's real. He came down on Mount Sinai. That burn mark was from the sun. The sun was at its zenith point. It burnt the top of the mountain. Why would God come down and then tell you it was him if the whole point of the Bible is to have faith? The whole thing is allegory. It's just symbolic. It even says it in the Bible, which things are an allegory. Y'all know that little thing y'all do in church when y'all drink the blood of Jesus and eat the cracker? But one that's literally cannibalism, symbolic to eating bones and drinking blood. Or two that came from the Ptolemies. Ptolemy's son and grandson used that to make Egyptians worship Serapis. That was all back in 100 AD and Christianity just got here 6,000 years ago. Before y'all say black people made the Bible, the first Bible was found in Ethiopia. In 350 AD, the elites went to Ethiopia and they indoctrinated the Ethiopians with Christianity. Y'all forgetting that our oppressors is still behind all this shit. And y'all talk about how the Bible is real because everything in the Bible is happening now. Y'all do know that the elites of this world is very advanced in technology, right? Inside the laboratory, Gary Wolf and Russ Snow have made a completely new species of locust that is genetically engineered to eat insects and destroy crops. The irresistible scent makes locust swarm steady fines. And they tell y'all in the Bible that the locusts gonna swarm. See, they plan all this shit. After the bunch of dead sea scrolls, Jesus crown, robe, nails. I'm just tired. Why am I still having this argument? This shit's not real, bro. Like, I literally forgot that people still believed in this shit until I hopped on TikTok. It's a lot y'all don't know about this world. We've been lied to. And I talk about the truth on my page. So just watch my videos with an open mind. You can see that I'm not just making this shit up. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm not even going to say nothing. Just pause it and read it. But I love y'all. Follow for more.